Welcome, January has flown by this year. It's already February, but I think I've been keeping pace with my watch build. I spent my uh, Christmas funds from my wife and also um, the funds that I got from my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. I was able to tool up my big lathe to start producing the brass blanks that I'm gonna be using to uh, CNC mill the uh, main plate and the bridges and hopefully the watch case in the next few months. It's just so much easier for me to buy brass round at the correct specification than getting the sheet brass, which I have to buy in huge quantities and cutting down two and a half mil and two mil sheet brass in big sizes is going to be a tedious process while in the lathe So parting off those brass blanks is quite easy. In the lathe, I use the automatic cross feed and it parts beautifully. And also the finishing that I'm getting on brass now is so much better than I was getting in my previous lathes. And I think that's down to just correct speeds and feeds, just having a lead screw to engage uh, as well. But I did end up running into an issue. I'm going to be pulling off the lathe motor very shortly to investigate what is wrong. So it's so good to get back into watchmaking and, and the prototyping of, of this watch. This is the main plate, the first time I've attempted to try and make the main plate. So on this tool, I compared the depths to the depths of the uh, 6498 movement and, and it varied between being bang on and about plus 0 0.03 of a millimeter out, which could be down to um, maybe there's a bit of air bubbles in the tape. It wasn't sitting perfectly flush. I'm thinking that I'm going to make these recesses maybe a tenth of a mil uh, undersized, and then I'm going to do a finishing pass and clean it all up in the, the watchmaker's lathe. And that way I get a really nice finish on the recess bottom and along the walls. I've been picking up some missing things on the first main plate that I've made for my watch. So I've noticed a couple of things. Each wheel has its own bridge and there's only two holes, which are the alignment pin holes. I'm missing the actual screw holes for these bridges. As you can see, there's three holes here, three holes, three holes. So the alignment pins are, are friction fit into the bridges, but they're not meant to be friction fit into these holes. So I should make these the correct size of the pin and not slightly undersized, which is what I did here. I actually milled this as part of the plate 
but if you look at the original 6498 these are actual pins which are pushed through that's what i'm going to change for prototype 2. january it's been a bit up and down thank you to all my patreon supporters every little bit helps you know getting tools and equipment for this journey is the hardest thing and probably and probably the main reason why everything takes so long thank you all for watching this video please hit that like subscribe leave a comment and i look forward to seeing you next time